Hey guys, this is Ryan with TrendLizard.com. I have one more ETF by request. This is FXE. It is the Euro ETF, the most popular one out there. Uh, let's get let's get right to it. It was incepted back in 2003. Uh, had a very nice advance at that point, put in a high in 2008, and it has never fully recovered since then. It has been in a downtrend. Uh, it had a lot of back and forth, 2009, 2010, 2011, and 12, even a little bit more here, but then really broke down in 2014, early 2015. Um, so it's been heading down for quite a while here, for over 10 years. So uh, I don't believe that this is a downtrend, but it does look like a counter trend move that is not yet done. So I think you have to be bearish on FXE at this time. You have to expect lower levels. And just for additional proof, a move below 107.50 at any time at any time confirms that the pullback that started back in 2008 is not over and lower levels have to be expected below 100 before this officially ends. What we're looking for based on this labeling right here is for a fifth wave down to new lows um, before it's all said and done. That's a move that could take a year somewhere around there and it uh, looks like it could have um, or excuse me, over a year. It's already been in place since January, so it looks like it's going to head lower into 2019 and set a new low for this massive down move as well, just an all-time low for FXE. So that's what we're looking at, and uh, let's go ahead and zoom in and take a little bit closer look at what's happened more recently. This looks at the action off the 2015 low. When you look closely at this action here, despite the sharp up move that happened in 2017, it all looks like one counter trend move that just ended in early 2018. Um, this does not look like the end of the move here. This is where the low was recorded basically at the, the very first day of 2017. Turned higher and again it's, it's fallen apart here. And what's happened in 2018 gives us more confidence that it's going to head lower from here. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this 2018 action. Here it is. It's a very nice trendy five wave move that's further confirmed by the fact that the recovery effort off of August low is a counter trend move. Uh, you can tell that because it's already returned towards back towards the low. Um, so I think it's heading lower. So here's how it, the Elliott wave pattern says it's going to play out. Wave one of a larger five wave advance completed in August. A second wave recovery has begun. I don't believe it's over. A move back above 1.0105050 at any time confirms that it's not over. We would expect a move back into this yellow support area. So we're looking for a move back into the yellow support area from here. Something go from about 113 to 116, put in a high there, and then turn back down and head quite a bit lower. So we follow UUP, the US dollar, which is pretty much the inverse of this guy. And it confirms uh, that analysis there. UUP looks like it's heading higher. FXE looks like it's heading lower. Again, I do think that you're going to get a, a, a larger bounce, maybe uh, at least testing September's high, probably going a little bit higher. Then it's going to stall out and head down from there. So that's what we're looking at with FXE. We're bearish on it. We think it's going to uh, continue down uh, for at least the next several months as this decline in 2018 becomes a larger five-wave move to the downside. So I hope that one's helpful. Alexander, again, thanks for signing up with Trend Lizard. Um, we're here to help. It's a crazy market. Uh, Elliott Wave provides the guidance, and uh, all we can do is trust the chart. So have a great night, and we will talk to you again very soon. Take care.